just the two of us. This time. Never again. Okay. I don't know how you did it once. And I'm never not even gonna think about how you did it twice, but I'll be damned if I give in a third time. Honey. I'm gonna get out of here. Somehow, some way, on my own, without any help from you. When I get back to Henderson, I never want to see your face again, let alone hear your name. Or hear my name on your lips ever again. A little fire? Yeah, and I'm off duty permanently. Go find yourself another little senorita, comprendo? Hasta luego and adios. I'm out of here. Oh. 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 I have my head examined. It better not be a joke. That's all I've got to say. so hard, but I had to do what I had to do. Cat! Search for Tomorrow is brought to you by delicious Citrus Hill Select Orange Juice. 100% pure, 100% natural, 100% guaranteed to get your juices flowing. Stu? Stu? It's okay. It's all right. Nothing's changed. The plan Tell me you're all right, Stu, please. It's a suicide pact. Oh, they decided please, to jump together. Stu? Jeremiah needs me. Help! 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 Somebody, please! Shut up! Help! I said shut up! Help! What have you done? Don't make me angry. This is Turner. Killed by Susie, now you murdered my friend. Oh, what do you know about anything? What do you know about friends or, or loyalty or giving up your life to get somebody to the top? Oh, God, you're crazy. Kill him if you don't even care. Go right ahead, Mrs. Turner. Oh, go right ahead and think that. Maybe it'll help you accept your insignificant little death. Why are you doing this? I have to protect the judge. He needs me. To Do you know who you killed? Oh, tell me about it. What? Was he your boyfriend? Was he somebody you worked all your life for? Was he somebody you had to cover up your past for? Well, this man who ever walked on this earth. <sighs> Wonderful. Wonderful. We'll just have to remember to put that in your suicide note. You won't get away with this. You 
hell for what you've done. Huh. Which is where you're going to join your little janitor in a few minutes. Or sooner if you don't stop talking. Now just shut up. medicine if I'm not there to give it to him. Mrs. Turner, you're going to have to write the suicide note right now for the janitor and yourself because I don't have much time. Which hand do you write with? Very good. Now don't do anything funny, please. Take out the pen. Está muy caliente. He's burning up. Oh. Well, that's what he gets for coming down here in the first place. Did he take care of you last week? Yes, he did. How did you know that? The priest, he told me. What priest? The priest who married you. He has defected to our side. Oh, he did? Oh, did he? Well, good for him. <laughs> that priest has really got his act down, doesn't he? He's act down? Yeah, he, um, he gives good wedding, comprendo? A wedding? Si. It will be one to remember. A wedding to tell your grandchildren. Only there won't be any grandchildren. At least, not for the two of us. Por favor. No, um, no, um, no he -yo, no little ones. Um, him and me. Nada. Well, Consuelo, the whole thing was a gag. I mean, surely the priest must have told you that. Well, well what is this, this gag? Uh, a joke. Uh, ha, ha. Bella, Bella was having one on me. He was, uh, calling my bluff. Calling your bluff? Right, right. You see, he hired that, that priest and that capitan. Well, they weren't real. They were just actors. Actors? En el teatro? Yeah, yeah. 
No, no, Arthur. It's not theater. This is revolution. Uh, uh, believe me, Consuelo, I'm well aware that there is a war going on here. Too many fights, too many bombs, too many terrorists. No actors, no teatro. I've known plenty of actors who bomb, but that's a completely different story. Listen, Consuelo, would you do me a favor? See. Si. Take care of them for me. Do whatever you can for them. Uh, <clears throat> here's some... Uh, Money, um, American, it still seems to open a few doors. Look at Pasa. For medicine, for whatever he needs. Pero or just give it to the revolution if you want. Pero donde va? In English, please. Non comprendo espanol. But where are you going? I am going back to the United States. I have an important story to write. But your husband, he's so see. He is not my husband. Why doesn't anybody understand this? Honey. Está aquí. No, está gone. Consuelo, I had the same bug last week and I'm still here. He's going to be just fine. Bella. Bella. Don't worry, you're going to be just fine. A woman named Consuelo is here. She's going to take very good care of you. You won't leave, senorita. What? You love him. You know you do. Oh. Oh. Let me go! Uh. Oh. No, sorry. I'm not a sheep to be talking in a contest. Oh, don't remind me. I've had enough contests to last me a lifetime. Get out of my way! Sorry, I can't do that. How could you have done it? That's funny. You took the words right out of my mouth. You should have left Ireland when you said you would. Yeah, and you should have told me that you were going to marry Malcolm. Why didn't you? It was no affair of yours. You're going to have to pay for all the wrong you've done. Oh, yeah? What about all the wrong that Malcolm did, huh? You don't know the man you're oh. talking about. I know him all right. He's been locked up here for years, and he's going to pay. He's finally going to pay for what he did. Oh, I see. That's it. You're only using me to make the hook. Sorry. It's the only way out. You're out of your head, man. Malcolm is no criminal. Oh, really? You have proof of that? I don't need proof. Well, how about if I was to tell you that I know that Malcolm's a murderer? <laughs> what if I was to tell you that the stars of the children of the moon is all a fairy tale and you know it as well as I do? Oh, do I? This is no fairy tale. And there's not going to be happy endings either. But justice will be done. I swear to that. Pull yourself together, Yank. The wrong you've done, and let me go. Let me out of here! Why didn't you tell me you were going to marry Malcolm? It was none of your business. Oh, really? After all the time we spent together, after everything we said. You mean after all the lies? I don't believe that. I'll believe it. Not a word of it was true. No, you spoke it with your heart. I could tell. Oh, I'll tell you what I know. I know how I led you on. I know how I kept you away from Malcolm. You're lying. Oh, first Malcolm's a murderer. Now I'm a liar. Do you feel that up here, too? You've been protecting him this whole time? Right. Even since the first day that we met, the time that you... I, from the very first. I thought I met someone special, someone I could trust. I thought the same. We were both wrong, weren't we? I guess so. Let me go! Oh, you're not go. Uh, so you can just stop fighting me. Because I'll tie you up if I have to, I swear to it. You don't know what you're saying. I know love when I see it. All right, I will admit that he may get under my skin every now and then, but as far as love goes, forget it. You will stay. No. There you're wrong. I'm out of here. Well, but he needs you. And I need to get away now. 
Sorry. Listen to that. There is no question. The man loves you. The man is delirious. Sonny, please. Consuelo, look at him. He's faking this. Believe me. This is fever. This is real. First you see your man through his fever, and then maybe you reconsider. For the last time, he is not my man. Then and there is nothing to reconsider. Then your love is speaking to you in the wrong way. Listen, sister. This lovesick guy here is engaged to marry somebody else. He was making love to me at the same time he proposed to her. What am I wasting my time for? I've got a plane to catch. Sonny. Just, uh, just uh, sponge him off every half hour or so. He did that for me and it helped, uh, help break the fever. Honey. Oh, do not worry, senor. Your wife loves you. You will get her back. But first, you must get well. I'm going to join my Susie now in heaven. Please don't mourn us. Or think of this final act as one of defeat. With Stu by my side, we greet death You're such an asset to the judge, especially during campaigns. Did you know that I've written many of his speeches? No, explains. Explains what? Not as long as you live. As long as I live. Well, now, uh, maybe I have something to say about that. He is the earth, the sky, the, the river, the ocean. He is everything to me. And me? You. You are an animal. You should be caged, not me. Let me go. There's something I must finish. And I can't do without you. My little fairy child. Hang on, Granddad. Please hang on. What's happening here? It's my grandfather. He took a fall down the elevator shaft. Oh, is he? Well, he's holding his own, but we better get him to the hospital quick. Come on. Sergeant, we're going to need an escort here. Call in all the help you need. I want the roads clear to Henderson General. And step right, on it, Tim. I'm going with him. All right, I'll call Cagney. We'll follow you to the hospital.
I knew we were going to meet again. Isn't it interesting, this little ledge down there? I found it last night. Interesting how that sort of thing comes in handy. Well, what's the saying? He who laughs last, laughs loudest. I'm tired of this game. Mrs. Turner. Goodbye. Tonight on Highway to Heaven, can Jonathan bridge the gap between a business tycoon and his loveless son? Then, come home to comedy with Nell Carter in Gimme a Break and Jack Klugman and John Stamos in You Again. Then on a special St. Elsewhere, Fiscus is shot and critically wounded tonight.